Hey guys, this episode of Dow's Rigging and Crane Tips is brought to you by Cranebox. Cranebox is the only bag you'll need as a crane operator. It has everything, huge front pockets, huge side pockets, A4 docker book sleeve for your iPad, docker book or laptop if you want. It's an esky or a cooler bag or a chili bin, whatever you want to call it. And for those who keep asking, it can hold a six pack standing up it can even hold about 16 stubbies standing up. It could hold about 24 cans. So everyone who's asking how much beers it can hold, that's how much beers it can hold. It's tax deductible. You can claim it back on tax. The crane box is the one bag you'll need. You can throw away your two bags. You can stop juggling bags in and out of the crane when you can just have one bag, which does it all. All right, guys, if you want one of these, it will be in the description below. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Dell here from Dell's Rigging and Crank Tips 2022. Uh, yeah, yeah. Now on today's episode, I just want to go through tips and tricks for a rigger. All right, jumping out of the slew crane. What 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 can you do to help out? Look professional. Um, get called back to the next job, and have the crane operator go. Man, look, I need this guy back, man like I, I need him on this crane because uh he just looks after me and we get the job done so here's some tips and tricks from old mate Dell. so first of all if you can and if the crane operator has looked at the job and say yep this is where i'm sitting up you want to take this hook off but a good tip that i always do is if it's your first time at that crane take a picture of how it's hooked up Sometimes the hook uh, is hooked up with uh, three or four chains, one to pull it in, one to hang it there for travel. Sometimes the hook um, has got a ratchet strap, but it's on a whalebone hook or ram's hook, they call it. Sometimes you have two hooks here, so you have an auxiliary hook and a main hook, and it's tied up a specific way. And if it's the crane operator's one man, one crane, he would have it tied up a specific way. So what I do when I jump in a crane that I'm new to is I just take a picture of it so when I get back to it, I can put it back exactly how whoever's crane it is had it. And then they're like, oh, you got that first time because most of the time people hook it up and you're like, oh, that's not how it was and you've got to redo it. So my tip is jump out of that cab take a picture of how it's hooked up this one's just got a ring on it so you can't forget that but most of them have got some sort of way that the crane operator likes it or the boss likes it so that's a good tip so that's the first thing you can do unhook that hook undo the boat winch if you can if not if it's hooked up like that you have to wait until the crane operator raises a boom comes down on the hook and you can help him with that too the second thing I'll do if you don't have a boat winch uh, after releasing the hook and taking your photo would be undoing all the pins in the outriggers. So in this part here, inside there, there'll be a travel pin. You need to get that pin, take it out and put it in the slot. In some groves and stuff, they have slots. Sometimes they don't, so just leave it on the foot thing there because you need to put it back in once you put the outrigger out third thing is once the outrigger is out you want to put the slider into the center so we see the slider here see how it's not in center see how it's on the piss that's how they have it for travel all right they have it for travel like that so you want to slide that down so the ram is in the middle I know this is basics but sometimes riggers just stand there and they don't pull out any pins and they don't slide things and they put that outrigger timbers underneath this pad when it's not even on the piss so get out undo this hook undo the outrigger pins so undo that one undo that one undo the other side undo the other side and that's quick like five things that you can do so the crane operator can come around to the side and just punch these outriggers out you know and that's handy I just come around to your side 
pins are already already out. You've already pulled them out, and I just pu- and I just push the outriggers out, and that's like that's fantastic. You know, that's what you can do. So familiarize yourself with where these pins are. Pull them out. All right. Another thing you can do is you just start like going around to the back here and just start pulling out timbers out of the timber box. You know, just just pull out. You know, you're going to have at least three for each outrigger. So I just quickly I just smash out six. Bang, bang, bang out on the ground, grabbing two at a time, taking them down to the front, then grab the third one and putting outrigger pads down underneath that. Now you can do all this while he's on the other side pushing his side out and going around and taking out the pins on his side as well. You know, but you can do this very quickly, you know, like you can jump out of this cab here, undo that with a boat winch, undo that pin, walk down the end, undo that pin, walk down the end, undo that pin, go around the other side, undo that outrigger pin, and then go to the front if the crane operator hasn't done it already. And bang, 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 you've done five things that most guys don't do, and they're sort of just standing there, you know what I mean? Another thing you can do is um, get the tagline out, you know, boom, sometimes it's in this box. You know, sometimes it's in that box there, sometimes it's in the back toolbox, but you can do that. Another thing too is what happened the other day is sometimes people pull the steel plate right off or sometimes they get timbers. And this is a very important one. So sometimes they get timbers out and they lean them against these lights or they lean them underneath, uh, you know, this back towel light, or I've even seen them like lean them against these ladders, or you know, lean something over here. The problem with leaning anything on a crane that you have to be wary of is that he's going to be messing with the suspension. And so when he comes down on the outriggers or down on the suspension, if you've got something leaning up on the crane, it can actually like come down and bend it or scrape a toolbox or take that little light off or smash a towel light or come up on the toolbox. So you don't want anything leaning on the crane, you know. If he has to suck up and travel, you don't want any ladders either down if he has to move forward six meters or something so you want to put the ladders back up you don't want any unnecessary stuff put on top of the slew deck so nothing put on top of the slew deck at all nothing put on top of the outriggers you don't want nothing on the outriggers at all so never put stuff unless he's going to be set there for three days you know you can put some slings over and thing but you know as soon as he's packing up you want to take that out so that's um a few things and just one more thing oh and thanks jake rolson for your model crane i've still got it mate i still owe you a card in so if he does have a setup like this oh sorry mate So if he does have a setup like this, with the hook here, so we'll have a look at the hook. So with the hook just on the ring, and he's got a, and he's up here, and he's got a jib up and winch down, and he can't see the hook. You need to be standing right here in front of him. And what I do is I just put my hand out to the level of the hook. And when he's jibbing up and hooking down, I just follow my hand with the hook height. And so when he's jibbing up and winching down, if my hand comes up, if my hand comes up, he knows the hook's coming up. If my hand gets really high, he knows that the hook's about to pull real hard on that ring. So he'll come down, but I'll follow my 
I'll follow the height of the hook with my hand, sort of just out to my side. And so that's what I do. And if he just follows my hand, my hand's mimicking the level of the hook. And it's just perfect. And he just jibs up, follows the level of my hand, and until it's straight up and down. And make sure you wait till the hook is straight up and down and then just unhook it you know don't wait till it's on the piss i've got a video of that but wait till it's straight up and down and he'll he should know that mark if he doesn't then um tell him that's the mark where the hook is perfect bro and that's it so anyway guys i hope this helps get out of the cab take a photo of how the hook's hooked up take all the outrigger pins out once the outrigger once the outriggers are out put the outrigger pins back in you know put 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 these sliders into the middle pull out all the timbers you know grab the tagline out that's you know 16 things you can do without being asked you know 16 things you can do with him not saying a word to you and i promise you if you get out and do those things quick smart and pronto you'll be on all the next jobs i tell you what when riggers do that, like I had this good guy, Peter, the other day. He's just a smasher, man. I just get out of the crane and, like, everything's out, done, pinned to pulled. It's just like, bro, perfect, you know? And it's not that, you know, like, I can't... Because, like, I smash him out too to help. But, you know, if two people are doing it, it just makes, you know, the work so much lighter. So... And then I can concentrate on, you know, my boom sections and where I set up and configuration. You know, I can look at my book and not have to double handle everything, you know. Like, I don't have to um, do everything over, to, you know, over rigger, you know. So familiarize yourself with the outrigger pins on all cranes. Even before you go out to the job, just walk around the crane and just pull one out and go, oh, okay, that how, that's how it comes out. I'll put it back in. Yep, so when I get to the job, I know how this pin works. Lieber metal pins are a little bit tricky, so familiarize yourself with those. They go in, yeah, I don't know why they make them so tricky, but familiarize yourself with all of them. Anyway, guys, I hope these tips help. Have a good week starting Monday. Like these videos, subscribe here. Dow's Rigging and Crane Tips 2022. Oh, yeah, yeah.